In this video, I am going to cover the use of numbers in order to describe the function of a player during a game instead of using an actual title. Number one is the goalkeeper. The right defender is called number two. The right central defender is number four. The left central defender is number five. And the left defender is number three. Then you have the defensive central midfielder, which is number six, the attacking central midfielder, which is number eight, the left midfielder, which is number 11, the right midfielder is number seven, the forward, which is number 10, and the advanced forward, which is number nine. There are several reasons why coaches use a number system instead of using the title of the position. One is that it's easier and faster to communicate with players. It's a lot simpler to say you are playing number two than saying right defender or saying you're playing number six compared to saying defensive central midfielder. And it's also a lot clearer for the player to understand. For example, take number six and number eight. They're both in the middle but the functions of these players are different. So when a coach asks you to play as a six, it's not the same as playing as number eight. The number eight, he's a, he is a midfielder that's going to join the attack more often compared to number six. He's gonna stay back, he's gonna sit back here and help defend with number five and number four. So understanding the functions of each one of these positions is also key to the player in order to understand what it is that the coach is asking him because during the game, you might play more than just one position and you need to understand what is the function of that position and the coach normally will use a number. So it's gonna make it a lot easier to communicate. The use of a number system also makes it easier to assign individual marking during the game. For example, a player can be told that Whenever number eight has the ball, number seven has to go in here and double team and help number six double team the eight player. Um, think of the during fixed tactics, during a corner kick, number nine is assigned to number five, 10 is assigned to number four, But what if the central defenders goes up from the other team? What if number five and number four go in a header? Who is responsible for marking them during the corner kick? Well, in that case, you must say, okay, number nine, I want you working on with number five. And number eight, I want you working number four. And maybe you wanna leave number six over here for the rebound while everybody else is over here marking whoever was. And that really depends on, 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 your, on your coach and what specific is doing, but I'm just giving you an example how during these defensive mechanisms, your coach might assign you to defend against a particular function. Again, remember, you're not marking the jersey number because the jersey number can change during the game. You are marking the function, the seven, the eight, the nine, the six, the four, whoever it is. And as a player, you need to be aware who in the opponent's team it's playing in that position. Another reason why using the numbering system makes communication easier is that imagine during training, during a small sided game, we have two teams playing with some eight players, the goalkeeper and three, four, five, six, seven field players and the other team is also playing with the same amount of players but the functions of the two teams are a little bit different notice that the blue and white team is playing with a number three and the number two and the number four in the back but the red and black team is playing with a four and five the midfield is also composed different so the functions that the players are going to carry out during that small side of game has to be different you have a six a seven and eight and 11. In the red and black team, you have number seven, number 11, and number six. But these two players are forwards. They're not midfielders. 
So this player over here has to be careful not to think that he's a forward just because he's the most advanced player. His function is to act as an attacking central midfielder. That's not the same as this guy over here, who it is a forward who needs to come over here and post against this guy in order to receive from the red and white team. So this is key um, when understanding this numbering system. Um, in another video, I'm going to create the different functions and what does it mean to play as a number three, as a number four, so that you can further understand this, this concept of using numbering systems.